Hello everyone. My name is Neha and I will be your trainer for spoken English language. So to begin with, I have prepared a presentation for you all, which will help you learn English language and not only learn English language, but improve your English language if you already are a good English speaker. So here it goes. I have my screen that I would like to share with you all. Just a sec. Okay. Okay. So spoken English and why is it important? Well, we are living in a country that has so many states, first of all, and every state has its own regional language. And most of us understand and speak in Hindi. However, some people in southern part of the country, uh, you know, do not know Hindi, but they can understand English. Same goes with some people living in North India, Western part of India, or anybody across the country. So English is a common language. Now that can be understood by everybody around the country. So English is a common language. It is also a universal language. It can be understood by anybody across the world. So as we grow older, we realize that we are going to have certain clients who are from who may be from um, America or probably from Canada. So you know uh, they would like they would like their um, employees or probably the ones who are living in India. Uh, maybe the business might be outsourced and they would want their people to speak in a language that can be understood by them. So English is something that will definitely be understood by them and you will be able to deliver your projects to them in a nice manner and you will be able to fetch your job, uh, earn your salaries in time, you will not have any problems, so to say. And that's not only in your profession, but also in your day-to-day -day life. You have people who are speaking in English, but if you don't know, you might feel inferior. And uh, I'm not saying that speaking in any other language uh, might make you feel inferior, but but if you have to, uh, you know, if you have to face the world, if you have to go with the time, English is important and. Uh, uh, and uh, you should learn it with time and it will make you confident to face anybody anywhere across the world. So moving on to the next slide, uh, you have to make it a habit to learn English. And how are you going to do that? You have to watch movies in the English language. Now watching regional languages, I'm not saying that you should stop doing that. If that makes you happy, you can continue doing so. However, you should also make it a habit to learn English language by watching English movies. Listen to English music. If music is your hobby and if music, you know, makes sure that you know, you, you get some peace in your mind. You should start listening to English music. You should listen to audio books, podcasts. All this will help you improve your English standards. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you all. Moving on to the next slide, idioms. Now, idioms is something that makes your English language sound more beautiful. Okay, any native English speaker might use idioms. And if you are living in, uh, in a country like India, you might not have heard certain idioms. You will not have any connect with, with that person who, who's living in a different part of the country. So idioms will 
make sure that your language, English language improves, your spoken language improves. Uh, for example, if somebody says that uh, cracking this particular exam is like a piece of cake for me, now it might sound delicious to me because this is cake. No, it would mean that it's gonna be very, very easy for me to crack this exam because I've prepared well. I am sure that I'm going to do well in this exam. It would be as easy as pie. So easy as pie is another idiom, which is similar to a piece of cake. Another one is raining cats and dogs. When I say raining cats and dogs, you know, the first thing which will strike my mind is, oh, am I seeing so many dogs and cats around me? No, it does not mean that. It means it's heavily raining outside, okay? So that will make your language more beautiful. Hold your horses. Now, if you say hold your horses, it does not mean that you have to literally hold your horses. It means that you have to be patient. A teacher is asking a student to hold your horses till he finishes his session and moves on to the next one. I hope that makes sense. To have a big mouth, oh, to have a big mouth does not literally mean that you have to have a big mouth. It means that you are very talkative. Raise the bar. Now you have to improve your standards like for example, you've scored 80% today in your um, internal exams. Your mom will want you to score 90% in your external exams, in your boards. So she has raised your standards. She has raised a bar. So don't get scared. I'm sure that you can improve your standards and how are you gonna do all these things is not something that can be done in just about a one day. It is a gradual process and it takes time. So with everything, you have to practice, practice and practice. Okay. Moving on to the next slide. Now that's pronunciation. Uh, if your pronunciation is good, anybody across the world can understand your language. And um, living in different states in India, we may have mother tongue influence. So, you know, we have certain regional languages. We, mouth, we might have MTI, which is mother tongue influence. So we have to make sure that we neutralize our accent by practicing certain tongue twisters, which I have prepared for you all. And as we progress through sessions, more sessions, I'm going to give you more tongue twisters for you to help improve your pronunciation. The first one that I have for you is, I've got a date at a quarter to eight. I'll see you at the gate, so don't be late. Now, did you realize that this will help us practice the sounds of eight, got it? The second one that I have is a good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Now this tongue twister helps us practice the cool sound. Another one that I have for you is, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Now this tongue twister helps us pronounce the P sound. Remember, pa, 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 pa. that's per sound. Another one is the W sound, W. It's not V, but it's W, I'll tell you how. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. But if you wish the wish the which wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. So this helps us to pronounce the word sound. Okay, so I hope uh, this pronunciation, you know, these uh, steps with the tongue twisters will help you improve your pronunciation for sure. And I'll definitely help you improve 
your pronunciation with more words uh, once we progress through the sessions. Uh, another one that I have for you is beginner level free talk topics for English lessons. So I've got certain topics for you which you can prepare and make me listen to your um, speeches that you're going to be preparing on these topics or presentations. And if at all, there will be any problems in terms of grammar, pronunciation, fluency, I'm going to correct you all. Uh, and let's start with this topic. First, I'll help you with what do you plan to do this weekend? So I'm not going to hear just one word or two word sentence. I need a long story. Like for example, well, I plan to visit my friend in South Delhi. So he lives in Saket and we have a plan to watch movie, but we haven't really um, discussed on the language as to which language are we going to watch this movie on, whether English or Hindi. Well, since I have listened to your uh, presentation now, I would like to watch this movie in English language because definitely I have to improve my English. Okay, so this is how you can uh, explain about your, um, your uh, you know, topic. You can give as much information as possible because if you are delivering your uh, thought process in such a way uh, that you are able to use lots and lots of grammar, lots and lots of vocabulary, then that will help me correct you if at all you're going wrong. Okay, so that is all I have for you today, but I'm sure that I'll have lots and lots of things uh, to discuss with you because what I have in my mind is to improve your English. So let's meet up in the next session. Thank you and goodbye to you for now.